Let's look at how we can import text and additional ADRQ information from a typical PDF formatted shooting script into ADR Master via the Import Shooting Script window. Shooting scripts are usually supplied by production during the filming or sound post-production of the original domestic language soundtrack. They contain all the scene numbers and descriptions, all the lines of dialogue as originally scripted, character names, and additional scene action information. ADR Master is able to quickly pass, recognize, extract, and populate multiple ADRQ fields simultaneously during the ADR queuing stage. First, go to File, Import Events from File, and select the PDF. Identify or confirm the script pattern to match the order and which additional ADRQ field information is required. In this case, for a shooting script, it would likely only be character and text. If the order is incorrect in the script pattern field compared to how a line is presented in the script, simply click and drag any of the script pattern components to a different position in the field until the orders match. Other fields like notes, queue number, start time code, and end time code can also be added as well with a plus button to the right of this field box, though it is very unlikely that a shooting script has time codes for obvious reasons. To help better auto-identify the following cues, only add fields that are relevant to the information available in this type of script. Click in the script section to select the first line of relevant information, in this case the character name. Next, while holding down the shift key, use the arrow down key to select the other lines that need selecting for this cue, in this case the dialog. The up arrow can also be used to move in the opposite direction. The right hand column will show what fields will be mapped, so you can confirm they will be correct before committing them to the fields above. Hit the new cue button or the hotkey combination shift N to enter this information into the relevant fields. Place the cursor in the timeline at the start of the line. Press the hotkey combination Command F9 to capture this timecode endpoint. Now place the cursor in the timeline at the end of the dialog. Press the hotkey combination Command F10 to capture this timecode outpoint. If Pro Tools is synced and connected with door control, the in and out points of the queue can also be captured and or modified from a timeline selection within Pro Tools by pressing the hotkey combination Command F8. It is also possible to import queues without defining any timecode positions. In this case, the queues will all be visible in the event list and placed at the start of the timeline. They can then be moved to their correct positions at a later stage. Play the line to make sure the script text matches the film dialogue. If there are any changes needed to the text, hit the T key or double click the text field and modify the text. Hit the Enter key once you have finished modifying any field. The character field will have extracted the character name for that line and if not already defined, defines a new character for the current project. To modify this, hit the C key or double click the character field. The queue number will have been generated based on the project's queue numbering scheme preferences in the project window. To manually modify this, hit the letter Q or double click the queue number field. To add any additional notes, hit the N key or double click the notes field. We are now ready to add this ADR queue to the project as a new visual event. To do that, simply hit the commit and clear button or use the hotkey combination Alt spacebar. This will also clear all the queue fields ready for the next queue import. If you would prefer that the fields are not cleared after being committed as a new visual event, use the commit button instead, or use the hotkey combination shift alt spacebar. If you would ever like to clear all the fields in one go, hit the clear button or use the hotkey combination alt x. ADR Master will then mark the imported lines as done with a green tick at the start of each line. It will then attempt to highlight the next possible cue in the script using the same script pattern setting. If additional text information in the script is causing difficulties in recognizing cues, for example non-verbal scene descriptions, the script can be cleaned up in those areas by selecting and deleting or adding or removing text and return carriages. To prevent the script text being edited by mistake, hit the lock script button. The state of the import shooting script window is stored as part of the project file, so if you don't manage to do all the queuing in one sitting, you can still shut down your computer and return to it another day. Once the same project is loaded again, the import shooting script window will return in the same state of progress and will remain there until it is finally closed with the red window button top left.